CSS Box Shadow in one minute. You can use Box Shadow to draw shadows for your element on the outside or on the inside. Now, Box Shadow has a bunch of properties. Let me show you. Starting with the horizontal offset, if you imagine a black box behind your element the exact same size as your element, this is how far left or right, say 10 pixels. Then there's the vertical offset, same deal but vertical, say 20 pixels. Then it's the size of the blur by pixel. The higher, the more blurry, say three pixels. Then the spread. This is if you want the shadow to be larger or smaller than the element, you can go positive for larger and negative for smaller. Or you can skip it all together. Then of course, there's the color, including RGBA. This is important. If you don't specify it, it inherits from the text color of the element. So I'm gonna go green, super ugly. Now, remember I said it could be on the inside? Well, if you add inset, the whole thing goes on the inside. Super cool. Subtle box shadows are very common. These days, especially with a high blur and a low color opacity. Now, can you build this? See you later.